Hi, and welcome to another edition of What Ranch Hobbies and Crafts. Before we get started today, I just want to send a big shout out to my buddy Chris for, for this beautiful beanie cap that he knit me. It's, it's perfect. Uh, we're in the middle of September. It's starting to get a little chilly at night, and I'm sure the cold weather is going to be coming, and this shop is going to be freezing. So really appreciate it. Another big shout out to my friend Shani for providing us with a, today's project wood. This is an inch and a half oak table from a restaurant somewhere. Um, and it's perfect for what I wanna to do today. I've been struggling with coming up with products that are not only beautiful and artistic, but are useful. It's nice to have these wood carved things on the wall or, or just have uh, ornamental pieces, but useful items are a little bit more practical. So today I'm going to try and walk you through the procedures to do a double-sided carve. I'm going to do the back of the bowl first, then we'll flip it over, we'll carve out the inside of the bowl, and try to hit it exactly in the center so when it comes out it's, it's nice and even. So uh, let's get started. I'll show you the bits that I'm using and the wood, and then we'll start carving. This is the oak inch and a half inch thick. It's a really tight, um, clear oak. It'll be good to practice on. I've got the size of my piece measured out. That's the extreme size. And then I find center and the bowl will come in the center here. I've got both sides marked. Hopefully I'm close enough in, with my measurements that this X is the same when I flip it over as that X and then the oval will be okay should be good. These are the tools that I'm using today. I don't really recommend that you get all your tools out at once, but for the purpose of this video, I'll do it. They inevitably get mixed up and then you got to sort them through. So I always just take one out and then replace it, get out another one. Anyway, uh, I do have a big flattener, but because I want to keep it pretty tight on this, I'm not going to try to run the big flattener. Today, for this purpose, I'm going to use my two inch I mean my half inch mill, and that'll go pretty quick. It's about an 18 minute clearance. Just gonna take off this layer of lacquer or whatever it is. So I'm just going down a, like a 16th of an inch or less. Then I'll come through and cut out the back of the bowl. And then I'm going to do a tapered edge to the bowl. So I'm using my uh, quarter inch uh, ball nose. And then finally, for the detail, I'll use an eighth inch taper bit. For carving the ornamentation on this, this will be a gift, so I'm gonna have an extra ornamentation on it. And I'm using my wide uh, 60 degree V bit. It's got a nice wide half inch um, cutting diameter. So I can do some pretty good detail, even at shallow sizes. It, it, uh, opens things up and looks really nice. That's the back side done. Really happy with the way it came out. I, uh, it's always hard to tell on the Vetric um, Aspire program exactly what you're gonna get. And remember, you always have two options. You can go for speed or you can go for really fine. And so it becomes a question of how much sanding do I wanna do. The other thing is when I laid this out, this ridge thing, the, the ridge plate on the back, looked really centered. But you can see right here, it's a little bit thin. This is a thicker piece right there. And here, 
and then it gets thin right there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Turn it. Another rookie mistake. I set my flattener bit, got it XY coordinated right, locked the bit in. Well, guess what I forgot to do? Set Z equals zero. So I completely ruined that piece. That goes all the way through my bowl. You know, you're gonna wreck wood with this. It's just the way it goes. I can't be upset with it. Just remember, be very careful to go through your all of your checklist to make sure that everything is just right. I have uh, enough wood that I was able to go ahead and run another run of it. So we're gonna try again. I promise I'll get closer this time. Well, this is where it gets heartbreaking. When I did my engraving for my gift name. Let me shout right through it again. Heartbreak. This is such a learning curve. I've got enough room that I can go right here and try it one more time. Yeah. So hard to guess. This has got holes in it. These are about a half an inch deep. Man, there's enough over here. Probably get away with one. Third time's the charm. That's perfect. That's a nice bowl. Now, look at this. All of that, all, all of that oak for one bowl. It's a real pity. After my first screw up, that's bad. I put paper over this because this is a gift and I don't want to give away who it's for. Uh, the second one cut out okay, but remember the uh, bottom etching showed through. So now we have this bowl and it cut out nicely. It's got a nice back to it. I think it's really, really nice. Now, the thing is, on this whole piece of oak, there was one, one knot that I was trying to avoid. So, this knot wanted to be a part of this gift. So, it's all right. I can sand this down and I'll put some nice finish on it. And it'll just be part of the feature. There it is, bowl cutting 101. <laughs> now that I've gone through it three times, I'm much more comfortable with it. And just to let you know, I was able to eke one more bowl out of it. So out of that oak, I got uh, a total of three good pieces. And I'm really happy with the way they came out. That's just beautiful. And now that I've got the file the way I like it, we can start doing some production happy to get going. Stay tuned for another episode of What Ranch Hobbies and Crafts. Thanks for watching.